network. In some cases, you don't want to have the randomized MAC address so that you maybe if it's at home, you have some specific services you want to connect from and to allow your phone to connect, then you want to allow this MAC address if you have any filtering like that. But if most of the time, randomized MAC address will work fine. So enough with the talk, enough with the talk. I'll show you right now. This is the Android 15 on Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5. And this is going to be very similar on most phones with small differences. So we have the Wi-Fi setting there and I got it, I got to this, I opened the Wi-Fi settings from the internet, from the quick settings, but you can also open from the settings app, go to network and internet. And here you can tap on internet and you see which Wi-Fi network you're connected to. I'm connected to this network and I can see details about it, the strength. I can share the network with a QR code. You have the security settings, which is the password of the network and the type, but you also have privacy here and how to connect. If it's a network that you're if it's a network that you don't want to use automatically or you don't use often, you can disable auto connect. It will not connect to that Wi-Fi, but you are already connected. So you have to disconnect if you are already connected. Most important setting here for changing the MAC address is the privacy here. And I have the setting to use the device MAC address because it's a home network. I have the setting to use device MAC and to send the device name. This also, it, the network gets a device name. Through the network, you will see the device name. And you can disable the device name and you can use randomized MAC address. And you saw it disconnected from Wi-Fi and now it's connecting again. So it's, it's connected, 